Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question. First of all, read the question very carefully. A builder falls off a ladder while lying roof tiles. He sustains a burst fracture of lumbar two vertebra. The MRI shows complete nerve transaction at this level as a result of this injury which clinical sign will not present initially so uh, we have to remember that there is a bust fracture of the lumbar 2 and there is a complete nerve transaction so this point is very very important that the lower part of these nerve transaction they lost communication with the brain here the options options are flaccid paralysis of the leg extensor plantar response sensory loss of the leg incontinence and a reflexia so let's see some of the picture so here we can see suppose this is this level and the spinal cord is transected here that means the lower part of the spinal cord from the lesion they lost all of its connection with the upper part here we can see here also this part of the spinal cord it loses connection to upper part that means the lower part it now represent the neuron lesion and this is the complete nerve injury so here we can see the spinal cord injury complete or incomplete with a complete injury uh, on cervical root on any other root it recovers 80 percent uh, two nerve roots uh, may recover in some patient so it is not our concern our main concern is here that means the transaction of the nerve and here we can see this is the spinal cord and here this is the complete transaction of this spinal cord and here we can see the lesion upper motor neuron lesion and lower motor neuron lesion in case of upper motor neuron lesion there are some function and in case of lower motor neuron lesion some function so here function upper motor neuron inhibitory effect of the muscle a stress reflex and in this case paralysis will be spastic type of paralysis and hyperreflexia develop muscle tone become hypertonic muscle mass tissue atrophy no fasciculation babniski sign will be positive and other reflexes such as abdominal reflex and climastic reflex they are lost and voluntary movement reduce and area of body involvement in case of upper motor neuron lesion it is larger area and in case of lower motor neuron lesion motor component of the muscle reflex then flaccid type of the paralysis here the hypo reflexia that means all type of reflex will be lost and muscle tone also reduce then wasting atrophy occurs in case of lower motor type of neuron relation and there will be fasciculation present and there is no Babinski sign and voluntary movement will be lost and area of body involvement is usually less so here we can see in case of transaction of the nerve this level here we can see will not present initially that means first of all they lost it is connection so primarily it develops lower motor neuron type of the lesion so here the extensor plantar reflex it is the feature of the upper motor neuron uh, type of the lesion nerve lesion but other options such as flaccid type of paralysis sensory loss of the leg incontinence and areplexia they are the feature of the lower motor type of neuron lesion so our answer will be extensor plantar reflex which is a feature of upper motor neuron lesion not lower motor neuron type of lesion thank you